The next problem, problem number nine. Here, this problem is bit advanced than the one what we have learned earlier. ABC Company capital structure is given rupees five lakh divided into shares of rupees hundred each. If nothing is specified, it is equity share. Another name for equity share is ordinary shares, which is compulsory for all the companies without. The ordinary shares or equity shares, the company cannot go on for the activity. And in the problem given, 10% debt of rupees two lakhs. 10% is the interest rate. The debt is two lakhs. That is the loan is two lakhs. The next sentence is given. The sales increased at 20% from 50,000 units to 60,000 units. That means existing is fifty thousand units. Twenty percent increase. Twenty percent increase of fifty thousand is ten thousand. Fifty thousand plus ten thousand is sixty thousand. So they have only given twenty percent increase is sixty thousand. So we have to have two situations: given situation and increase situation. Selling price rupees ten per unit. Variable cost rupees six per unit. Fixed cost is given rupees one uh, lakh, and tax rate is given at ten uh, percent. Calculate the degree of financial leverage, operating leverage at fifty thousand units and sixty thousand units. Calculate EPS, that is earning per share, and also calculate percentage increase in EPS. So this is what given in the problem. We'll go on working here. So 50,000 units in the present situation. When 20% increase, it becomes 60,000 units. So we'll go for calculation now. Rupees 10 per unit into 50,000. 5 lakhs. Rupees ten per unit into sixty thousand six lakhs. Variable cost six per unit rupees six into fifty thousand three lakhs. Rupees six into sixty thousand three lakh sixty thousand. So direct variable cost from sales we are going to get the contribution. Then. Contribution has become two lakhs and two lakh forty, and fixed cost given in the problem next as a deduction from contribution one lakh. So EBIT is one lakh and one lakh forty thousand. So EBIT we have come up to then is interest part. Interest part we have to calculate because they have given debt of rupees two lakhs and. 10% 10% debt of rupees 2 lakhs 10% is the interest rate the loan is 2 lakhs on that we can get interest as 20000 so ebt 80000 and 1 lakh 20000 next from ebt less tax given the problem 10% 10% of what they have not given, we have to understand. 10% of EBT. So 10% of 80,000 will be 8,000. 10% of 1 lakh 20 is 12,000. So deduct 72,000 and 1 lakh 8,000. Again, we don't have preference dividend. So we carry the same amount of EAD as EAES, seventy-two thousand and one lakh eight thousand. So this we have come up to earnings available to equity shareholders, which is important for calculation of EPS. Coming to the operating leverage, same two amount columns I am continuing here. So contribution two lakhs. 
for first situation 2 lakh 44 second situation ebit first situation 1 lakh second situation 1 lakh 40000 so if you divide 2 lakh by 1 lakh two times 2 lakh 40 by 1 lakh 40 1.714 times. Coming to the financial average, again EBIT 1 lakh and 1 lakh 40. EBT first situation 80,000. Second situation 1 lakh 20,000. So 1 lakh divided by 80, 1.25 times. 1 lakh 40 by 1 lakh 20, 1. 167 times then combined leverage 2 lakhs and 2 lakh 40 ebt 80000 and 1 lakh 20000 so combined leverage 2 lakhs by 80 2.5 times 2 lakh 40 by 1 lakh 20 2 times So till here the same formula what we have in the earlier problem. The next calculation is EPS, earning per share. This is new one. So this is they are giving the problem as uh, part uh, uh, B. So this is part B. I am calculating here earning per share. For this we need EAGS. That is earnings available to equity shareholders, which we have seventy-two thousand for first situation. One lakh eight thousand for second situation divided by number of equity shares, which is not given straight away in the problem, but we can calculate because they are given in the problem that the company's capital structure is having rupees five lakhs total, and divided into shares of rupees hundred each. So total is five lakhs. Each share is. And given face value per equity share, hundred each. So five lakh divided by hundred. Uh, when you do, you are going to get five thousand equity shares. So five thousand equity shares for both the situation is not changing. The capital structure remains same. So seventy two thousand divided by five thousand, one lakh eight thousand divided by five thousand. So when we do this. We are going to get earnings per share. Earnings per share. Earnings for one equity share. That is fourteen point four zero for the first situation. Twenty one point six zero for the second situation. Second situation is when the sales increases by that is ten percent. Sorry, twenty percent. Twenty percent increase in sales. Part C, calculation of percentage increase in EPS. We know the EPS has increased 14.40 to 21.60, but what is the percentage increase? We have to see, not the rupees value. So how do we go for this? Formula: change in EPS divided by original EPS is one. So which is original EPS? Original EPS is the first situation. That is fifty thousand units say fourteen point four zero. The change is twenty one point six zero is increase. So we have to find the change. So twenty one point six zero minus fourteen point four zero divided by original EPS that is fourteen point four zero. So when we do the calculation. 7.2 rupees increase divided by original EPS 14.4. We are going to see that 50 percent increase in EPS. So from this, what do we calculate? What do we understand? The sales has increased by 20 percent here. 20 percent increase. 20 percent increase. But EPS has increased by 50%. So we can say 20% increase in sales 
is giving 50% increase for earning per share, which is very good for equity shareholders.